Good morning, everybody. So, this morning, I want to share something from Philippians. It's going to be in uh, chapter 2, and it's going to be uh, verses uh, 5 through 4. Um, and the backstory to this for why. I felt led to share this yesterday was uh, because the word that is going to be described in this passage that I'm fixing to read is <laughs> actually a word that came up uh, in a four hour training session that I was a part of yesterday at, at work. It was a team building work and I think um, I'm trying to remember I think it was a value section part where we had to list words to describe the value of our team you know the team that we were in and um, the one word that was brought up um, was uh, humble. And uh, and so when when it, when we brought it up. I mean, I think I was the one that actually said the word humble, but we were all hitting ideas around. I think there was like seven or eight of us in this in this team. But we were trying to find the one word to to describe um on how to be uh, selfless and kind and not to think um, you know not to think that we're better than anybody else or any or better than any other team uh, in the plant and so the word humble made me think of the word humble and and so that that was one of so that was one of of like i think we had like eight eight words to 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 use and 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 it just that all those things that we're trying to describe ourselves as, as having a value just remind me of the word humble so i put humble um, so I mentioned humbled and we all agreed to it and so that was one of our one of our words but it, it really <clears throat> it really it really uh, stuck with me yesterday and and it just got me to thinking you know or questioning what is the perfect example of being humble? And the answer that I find to my question in that is in Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 through 8. So let me go ahead and read that. Have this attitude in yourselves which is also in Christ Jesus who Although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant, and being made in the likeness of men. Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on, on a cross." So, Jesus, 
to me is the perfect example of what humble is. I mean, let's look at the facts. Jesus is God's son. Jesus is God in the form of man here on earth. Now, Jesus had every right and every authority to retain his deity and all the powers that are involved in that because he he is he is the creator along with God and the Holy Spirit but he didn't he chose to be in the form like us he chose to be a man and he chose to feel what we feel um live you know like we live you know sleeping waking eating you know bathing you know um, with the exception of that he was 100% obedient to God 100% of the time he did not falter he did not sin because he was you know he's God on earth so he couldn't sin um, but his obedience to God was 100% complete. He died for us because that's what God wanted him to do. Folks, Jesus died for us, for our sins, to save us, to reconcile us back to God. I mean, and he did it because it was what God wanted. It was God's will for him to die that horrible, slow, suffocating death. You know, blood just slowly pouring out through the nail holes on his feet and his wrists. Blood flowing from the thorns that were embedded in his head by the Romans when they put that crown of thorns on him. Um... I mean, and it just, it blows my mind because he didn't falter. <clears throat> and... You know, people will say, well, you know, he did ask God to to take the cup away from him, so. But. He did that. Yes, he did that, but he did that still knowing that he had already planned and fully intended to die on that cross no matter what. I think what Jesus was showing us in that regard that it was okay 
to ask God for something, not to be afraid to ask God for something, as long as you know for a fact that you're going to obey what God wants you to do. And that's where the humbleness lies in. That's why Jesus is the perfect example of being humble. Because Jesus said yes to God and no to self. Whereas if we were in the situation as men, as men with a sinful nature, I hate to say it, more likely we will have the attitude of I'm not going to die for the, for the, for them. They don't deserve this. Folks, none of us deserve it at all. And Jesus did it anyways. That's what makes him the perfect example, example of what humble is. Humble is obeying God no matter what you feel, what it may do to you, being humble is having total submission to God and to think of only others, not thinking highly of yourself more than you ought to. So with that, uh, have a blessed day, guys. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.